How do you actually learn to code when life gets in the way? You know how it is, you have this goal, this ambition that you, you know, you set for yourself, new year, new me. You know, life kind of gets in the way. Bills, responsibilities, your kids are screaming at you, come home, you're tired, you wanna take a nap, you wanna watch some Netflix, maybe you wanna play some video games. Things are getting in the way and you know, like one day passes by, one week passes by, another month passes by and suddenly we are in the middle of the year and you are still in the same position when you first started. How do you overcome this? Why is this happening to you? Well, in this video, I want to tell you my story, okay? How I was being worked like an animal pretty much. I was working like 12 hours shifts and stuff like that. And I want to tell you like what I've done to make this transition for myself. I'm going to give you a few tips as well so you can implement them and become really good at mastering your time and mastering your feelings and emotions and energy to actually make this transition into web development, into a tech career, which is going to pay you really well. It's going to give you a bunch of perks and it's going to change your life dramatically. Okay, so let's get started. So myself, I was a barista a few years ago and sometimes I was working 12 hour shifts. I had to commute, you know, two hours a day. I was going by bike most of the time because I was trying to save some money. And let me tell you, when I was getting home, I was absolutely devastated, right? Uh, being a barista means I'm doing some sort of physical job, right? So my back was hurting, my hands were actually burned out. Literally, the only thing I wanted to do was to come home smoke a joint and play some FIFA with my body, right? And to be fair, I was doing that in the beginning, right? Before I kind of set this new goal for myself. But every single day I was absolutely killed by the pain of my job, right? So the thing that was supposed to lead me to freedom was actually killing me, right? It was taking all my energy, all my mental focus, all my mental power, all that stamina that I have in myself, all right? And it was only for the job, right? Making the coffees, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the floors, serving the customers, all that bullshit that happens in there. Maybe you cannot relate to me because you're probably working a, you know, nine to five, like a regular nine to five where you have a desk job and whatnot. But I think you can understand like, when you come home from that shitty job, that you probably don't like, probably you stopped growing in that job for the past three years. You come home and you're like, okay, I just want to relax. I cannot do anything more than this. I, I just need to blow some steam off, right? Probably you feel like that. And the thing is that this is the, the biggest evil that you have in your mind right now. So what I've done to overcome this problem, because honestly, I wanted to become a developer, not to change the world in any shape or form, right? Maybe that was like 5%, but I actually wanted money and I wanted a good lifestyle and I wanted safety and stability from the skill that I'm about to learn, right? So what I have created for myself was this personal hell, right? This personal hell, which I started painting it more and more, right? I was feeling like, you know, my mom and my dad will laugh at me because I'm, you know, just doing the slave work and stuff like that. I was feeling like the typical Romanian dude who is doing the work. And I was feeling like, oh, if I don't do anything about this in the next 30 years, you know, what am I gonna do? Still in the coffee shop? I had to make some moves, right? So I literally described this personal health for myself and one of the first tasks that I want to give you if you're watching this video is to clearly define this personal hell, right? There is a reason why you started looking at coding in the first place. It cannot just happen by accident. There was a spark, an idea, you know, a seed in your mind that made you look for a, for a way out from your current situation. If your current situation, if your current job, if the current way of you making money, the way you are spending 40 hours or 50, 60 hours of your week, if you really like that, then you wouldn't look for something else, right? But something triggered you and somehow you landed here on this video, you clicked on this, like fate, right? Probably. So figure out what really made you 
do that. I would suggest you to open a Google Doc and start typing out, you know, like describe this personal hell. What's going to happen if you don't do anything about your current situation in the next five years? Sometimes when I work, when I talk with someone in the consultation call, I ask them, hey, what's going to happen in the next five years? And some people, I would say 99% of the people that I talk to, and this is a made up statistic, by the way, never even thought about it. And then when I ask them, then they realize, you know, like in how much trouble they are, right? So that's one thing, realize and understand the personal hell that you're creating for yourself. It doesn't matter if you're 20 or if you're 30 or if you're 40. The hell that you'll experience is going to be, you know, for yourself. You can define it for yourself, right? The older you get, the harder it is to get out of that hell, right? I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but just keep in mind that. Then you also need to define like the ideal situation. Where would you like to get? You know, you need to create this, this goal and it has to be extremely vivid, right? It has to be extremely vivid. Like I want to work remotely, but where? From your home? Do you want to create an office for yourself? Do you want to get a cool setup? Do you want to have like a great chair? I don't know. Do you want to work from a coffee shop? Which coffee shop? Do you want to live in the city center of your city? Do you want to work like outside of the city? Do you want to work from an island? Like, try to define that, that thing. It's so important. For me, it was, I want to be able to work from an island. That was like my main tick box, check box, you know, that makes sense. That, I don't know why, but that was for me. Like, I want to be able to work from an island. It maybe sounds stupid, right? But when I went to Croatia, like last year and two years ago, I met like so many guys that were coming from the UK and then they were working in there, you know, it was like pretty cool to see like all these people that evaded, you know, uh, the regular job system where they have to actually commute. And then I was, you know, having some banter with them. I was creating some sort of connections and I was building like a network with people from all over the world that was co were coming to this island, Havar in Croatia, right? Pretty sick, pretty mind blowing in my opinion, right? It's pretty awesome what you can do if you have the right skills. So I have created this, this ideal um, scenario for myself and I actually reached it. It took me three, four years, something like that, to actually achieve that. I could have done it faster, but I had other obligations in the meantime. I was trying to reach other goals. Anyway, so that's one of the things that I want to, you to get out of this video. The next thing that I want you to know is that I actually wrote this thing here. So I'm going to make an analogy, which is like getting on a diet, right? Getting on a diet is very difficult in the beginning because the, the good food, the healthy food tastes like shit most of the time, right? Mostly because the bad food that you are currently eating and I was eating as well is filled with things that are making us addicted to it, right? So if you keep eating junk food, right? It feels good in the moment. Like if you eat that McDonald's and it gives you that dopamine hit, but then after five minutes, you start to feel sluggish, right? Start to, feel, start to feel tired, unproductive, you want to take a break. And, you know, the long, terms, the long term results of eating like crap is you'll getting, be getting diabetes, right? You'll become overweight, lazy, maybe you're going to have some heart attacks. You'll have like low confidence because nobody's going to look at you. You'll be in like a blob of fat that just walks around. You'll eventually become a lower quality person because you are not putting any effort into yourself, right? So that's the eating food part. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I want to make this analogy with coding, right? And with changing careers. If you eat right, right? If you eat right, it tastes like shit in the moment, right? But in the long term, you'll start to chisel a lot, right? You'll start to get ripped. You'll start to become more healthy, right? Eventually, you'll start to have more energy. You'll start to be more excited about life. If you're a man, your testosterone is probably gonna you know, improve. And overall, your life is gonna change. And now with coding, why am I making this analogy? Well, if you have a crappy job that makes you every day sluggish, right? You wanna come home and just sleep and just smoke some weed, drink some beer, whatnot, just chill out. Like your life is gonna pass away. You'll be making less and less money your job is going to probably be automated in some way or another. If your job is like easy to replace, you'll be replaced very soon, right? And then suddenly in five, 10 years, you'll be out of work, you know, like 
things, these things will happen. I'm not trying to scare you in any way, but I'm trying to throw some urgency in your life, right? Because years are passing by. You can get anything back, but your time. It's impossible to get your time back. You know, like if you ask any millionaire, what they want to do is to become younger again, right? So thing is with coding and with any skill, again, coding for me is like any other skill. I, it's just people make it more complicated than it actually is. People say, I don't have time to learn coding. Some other people say you have to make time to learn coding. What I'm going to say is that you don't want to code, right? You do not have yet that ability to focus, to change your life. You do not have it yet. And probably you don't even have this awareness. And I, I have this community on school for beginner developers. And I asked, hey, why are you not making any progress? Because I can look at people, you know, making progress in there. The course is for free, by the way, you can join. And then this guy said, oh, I would really love to actually, let me just read it. I'm part of that 2%. My poor lifestyle choices get in the way of me achieving my goals. No exercise, smoking to ease anxiety, McDonald's diet, and inconsiderate bed bedtime, right? And more, more other stuff. Can you see like how I related the diet to achieving the goals which are coding? I know this video is very meta and probably all over the place, but I'm trying to un make you understand that if you want to become a developer and if you have like a busy life, you need to learn how to self-develop in all your areas of life, not just coding. Because uh, if this guy is eating like shit, he's not sleeping, he's smoking, he won't be able to do the to write code, right? He won't be able to want to code. And probably you are in the same situation. Maybe you have to like look at your life right now and see like, what can I eliminate from my life to make this actual change? Because now I'm going back to what I was doing in the coffee shop. When I started learning code, I eliminated weed. I eliminated my friend. Everything I was doing, so or the only thing I was doing was work, code, and push-ups at home. That's it. I eliminated the gym. I eliminated everything. I made massive sacrifices to achieve this thing because there is no other way, right? There is no other way but my baking sacrifices. I knew that becoming a developer is my main priority. It's not a hobby. I have to get it done, right? So I removed every single thing that wasn't helping me together. And I'm self-made, right? But this guy is also self-made, but he will never admit that he's self-made. He's probably gonna blame something else. Probably you are in the same boat. Maybe it's time for you to literally wake up and understand that, hey, I can actually become a programmer. I can actually become a developer. I can actually write this freaking code, right? But I maybe have to look at my life and take some inventory of what I'm actually doing. Maybe you're thinking, oh, it's not me. I'm sure it's you. Somehow, I'm pretty sure it's you in one way or another. I'm pretty sure you are the 99%. If you are saying, oh, I'm the 1%, I'm pretty sure you are the 99% in one way or another, 100%. And the thing is, you can actually change it, you know? You can actually change this stuff. It's not that difficult. It's gonna take you a week to get you up and running with this stuff. But I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be pretty difficult in the beginning, right? There is no way around it. We know that if we want to achieve something, right? Getting that developer job making 250,000 a year, having that goal, right? That's like 3% of the US population. You wanna be in the 3%, but you are doing the habits of the 97% or the 99%. You cannot do that. You'll get there to 250 if you make some sacrifices, because I understand you have a full-time job, you have responsibilities, you have this and that, but it's time to think about what can I eliminate from my life for the next six to nine months to make a successful transition in tech. So then you can return to like work-life balance, even though I do not believe in work-life balance. I think it's massive bullshit. But um, yeah, that's what I would do. Uh, I would really take some time off I'll really take some time off, take some 
pen and paper, let your mind think. It's sometimes, you know, I, 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 I honestly really have to unplug everything and just go in my room without a phone, without any tech, with a notebook. I have a white notebook and a pen. I don't know where the pen is. And then I just let my mind go, you know, on that paper, on that yeah, notebook. I start writing stuff, you know. I'm thinking, what have I done this week? What can I do better? And it's a very simple exercise, like super simple, but like reminding myself, hey, do it now. Like, do it now. It's very difficult. I'm not going to lie. I'm not perfect with that. I know I should be doing more of that. But I, I really understand how difficult it is to come home, being tired and still doing the job, right? Still doing the thing that you want to do. I can really appreciate someone that does that. In fact, in this school platform, I'm watching everyone doing stuff and some guys that are really like performing real well. You know, they, they took this opportunity, this, this free course. You can also jump into it. The link is in the description. I'm not going to sell you anything. It's like literally like the beginner course from my pro main program where my clients are paying me, right? I gave it to you for free so you can start properly. So you can see what I do. If you like it, you can jo uh, join my stuff or you can go ahead and do some other thing. But I have a few guys there that are just started straight away, right? They started straight away. And for me, that was really amazing, to be honest. And then this guy that I was telling you about that said that he's eating McDonald's, he joined the first call because we have like a monthly call. He asked me a few questions. He said that he really wants to change his life and then he wasn't active for the past 10 days. So what did I do? I banned him. I looked at everyone that didn't make any progress, that just joined for the sake of joining, you know, another free thing. And I banned everyone, right? That's what I did. Why did I do that? Why I'm such an asshole? Because I want to show people that, hey, you have one opportunity. Take advantage of it. Don't let it go to waste. Because right now, maybe they'll have another opportunity in the future. And maybe it's going to be a really good opportunity like this one. And they miss the boat. So think about how many opportunities have you missed because you didn't stick with your goals. I know most of you, you know, like started coding. Jesus, three, four years ago, you started, you stopped, you started, you stopped, you started, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And every single time you just quit. Like, for example, Scott, one of my ex students, you can watch his testimonial from the, 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 from the channel. He had the same situation. He was starting, he was stopping, starting, stopping, starting, stopping. Like, just stick with it. He could have been a developer like three years ago. Right? You could have been a developer three years ago. Now you could, be, could have been making 250000 a year. That's a life-changing sum of money for most people. Right? If you are making 60, 70, 80, and if you suddenly triple your income, obviously with taxes and all that bullshit, how would your life be different? Probably like a lot of things would be different, right? But because you didn't take the opportunity years ago, when you first had that idea, when you first had that seed, you delayed so much, you know, the starting point. Now where you are? Right here. Right here. And now you are still delaying. Still delaying the time to take action. Where are you going to be in three years? Are you going to be happy with yourself being in the same spot three years from now? No, probably not. But it's up to you. You have to want to code, then you'll make time to code. And then you'll do the habits that a successful developer has. And then you'll eventually become a developer. And then things will change dramatically. I don't want to tell you how great things will be because you won't believe me. So I would highly recommend you to experience them uh, yourself, right? Anyway, that's my rant. I hope you like this video. If uh, you liked it, like the video. Let me know what you think. Peace.